Hello. How's it going? How's it going, y'all? As you can see, uh, I cut my hair. <laughs> I was able to shower. I got, I got my desk back in the corner there. I mean, it's a mess, but that's just what my desk is like. But um, cut like three inches off my hair earlier with the help of Dr. Husband. Because uh, I cut it and apparently it was like pretty good, except in the back. It was just kind of like doot, 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 doot. <laughs> So he just had to help me out there. Um, so, otherwise, yeah. Nice. It means it's curled up more. It's also really fluffy because then I immediately, like, put it behind my ear and everything. But, yeah. It's really hard to fuck up cutting my hair. Um, like, I'm going to be honest with you, because it immediately curls. Um, it really, it doesn't really show. It kind of hides your sins. Really. When it comes to comes to that, uh, it definitely is it's a lot. Easy. The only time someone has really fucked up cutting my hair, oh, there's two times. The first time was when I was 17 and I cut it all off. Um, <laughs> you're making cookies, probably. Um, but uh, when I was 17, I cut it all off and I asked for bangs. Um. And she cut, like, straight across, and then there was no, like, it just was cut, and then there was the, the bob. There was no kind of trying to get it to, like, blend in. It was just straight across, cut. <laughs> and she missed, like, an entire chunk of hair, somehow got caught underneath the smock. So after we left, my mom had to cut a piece of hair that was just, like, hanging all the way down my back when everything else was, like, at my chin. So, that was fun. And then, the other time was when I had first moved to uh, Denver. I went to go get a haircut, and she was I was talking to her about how my hair wasn't curling as well there. She was like, oh, you just need, like, shorter layers. So she gave me, like, she cut, like, the shortest layers, like, up here, and the rest of my hair was, like, this length, and it was just awful. It took, like, at least a month for it to grow out of this awful stage where it was just like sticking straight up up here and then it was just still hanging limply down here. Oh, it was just awful. Just terrible. Otherwise, it's really hard to fuck up my hair. And we weren't gonna fuck around with layers, so it's just doing its thing. Still relearning how to curl. Trying. It's trying. So. We haven't done this uh, episode five of Life is Strange too. Uh, we never did it because I learned about what happened and I was like, fuck this, pretty much. I like how I've already smeared my eyeliner. That's fine. But um, already, if you guys, if this is somehow you haven't seen me play any other Life is Strange too, the game is like, the first Life is Strange game was, like, my favorite game of the decade. That was, like, to me, the best game of the 2010s. It just, it really, like, grabbed my heart and it really made me feel, right? Um, I have a lot of feelings and thoughts and about Life is Strange. And then they kind of shot themselves in the foot with making this called Life is Strange 2 because they really should have given it its own name and then been in, like, this game set in the same universe as Life is Strange, as opposed to calling this Life is Strange 2, because I think they really fucked up with that. Um, and I also think that they just... that these characters deserved their own, like, game. You know what I mean? Instead of trying to continue off of what they had succeeded with before. Um, so in Life is Strange 2, the game starts in Seattle with a, um, a kid. He is, he's 17? 16 or 17. Sean and his little brother Daniel, who is nine? Question mark? Um, and at the very beginning of the game, uh, they are at home and their dad gets shot by the police. 
Um, so basically what happens, like that's just a really simplifying of it. But, oh, I should probably, warning for this game. Mobot, save me. But, um, the game, uh, basically, uh, the little brother is getting, um, is in danger of being beaten up by their next door neighbor. So Sean runs out there and is like, don't you do that. And then the cops show up. Um, sorry, which is being weird. Um, and assume that Sean's dad is actually like the person that they were called, uh, could come see to. Um, so the cops then shoot the dad. No, oh, I'm missing. But, um, Moobot's just, like, not letting me. Why does this keep happening? Why does this keep happening to me? Well, that was not what I expected of it. Moobot just isn't working for me. That's cool. Because when I try to authorize with my Twitch, it then takes me to something else. Invalid token. Okay, well, I guess I won't be updating Moobot then. But, um... Oh, well. So, uh, Dad gets shot, and when Dad gets shot, Daniel suddenly has uh, magic powers, um, telekinesis. So, he gets so upset that he basically causes an explosion. Um, just like... Pretty much like a sonic boom, basically. Uh, where everything just gets kind of destroyed and um, kills the cop. So Sean doesn't know what to do and immediately uh, panics and just grabs Daniel and runs instead of sticking around to see what would happen if the cops showed up because he's, you know, convinced either they wouldn't believe him and just assume he killed the cop or... Uh, that they'd take Daniel away and do something to him. So they're able to get away. Um, and that's like, episode one is basically just them getting away um, and moving, moving on. And then in the second episode, they end up at their grandparents' house. Um, their mom, their deadbeat mom's parents' house. Um, so, ends up there uh, around Christmas, and they take them in, even though they know that they're running from the cops, but the um, cops end up showing up, and um, the kid from, from Captain Spirit is there, and in my game, he didn't die, so, in a lot of people's, he died. Uh, the dog died, though, so there's that. The dog always dies. There's nothing you can do about it. And that's really upsetting. They had a really cute dog at the end of the first episode. And then, of course, in the second episode, they killed the dog. Because, of course, they did. Um, it's just something I still don't forgive them for. It's because they were like, ah, but then we'd have to animate it the whole time. So, uh, <laughs> is, this is why I haven't really been playing the game anymore. Because it just started to feel a lot like torture porn. Pretty much. Uh, but then, second episode, uh, and then the cops get called in so they have to leave gr uh, Grandma and Grandpa's house. And then, in the third episode, they end up at a weed uh, farm. Uh, and it that's where the game went really off the tracks for me. Because they started, like, no matter what we did, things turned out wrong. Like, no matter how much we, 
we were, like, working on things in the previous two episodes because there was, like, a time jump. Suddenly, Daniel was a little shit and wasn't listening to you and was... And just because that was what they wanted with the story, but that's not what so many of us wanted with the story. That makes sense. It just felt like that it was taken completely out of our hands, and that was very frustrating. Um, and then the... Everyone... Everyone lived in my version. They didn't kill Finn, right? Finn was alive. Yes, Finn was alive. Uh, Finn tried, this guy from the weed camp, uh, tried to convince Daniel to help him break into a safe to get all the money they needed so they can get down to Mexico, because that's where they're trying to go. Sean and Daniel are trying to go down to Mexico where their dad's from. Uh, that's like... <laughs> but the, at this point in the game, the writers have apparently forgotten that they both speak Spanish, because now they don't speak any Spanish anymore to each other, really, other than just, like... A couple words and it's very frustrating for me because it's like it's like they just forgot about it um <laughs> all of this is going to be explained in the game when we start but i'm just letting you guys know it my way um and then of course we're like hey no daniel you can't do this and he's like you're right i can't and then he does it anyway um and we have to go save him and then um the guy who owns the camp, uh, basically goes to shoot someone and hits Daniel. Um, and then Daniel causes an explosion because he's so upset about being injured. Um, but it was just like, it just like grazed him. He's not actually like hurt, hurt. Uh, it causes an explosion and runs out. And in that explosion, Sean gets glass to one of his eyes. And so now he's lost an eye. Um, in the fourth episode, it starts with him being in... Um, he's in uh, custody at a hospital. So he's been arrested and is being questioned and everything. Um, and they're about to take him to a prison to transfer him to a prison because of his his he's gotten his injury's gotten better but instead uh he escapes and um he's able to uh get out steals a car drives to the desert gets beaten up again uh and finally finds Daniel in the middle of the desert because he was able to I don't remember how he was able to track him down um I don't remember. But, uh, sorry, I'm just playing these twisty ties. Um, finds him in a cult where this cult leader has taken Daniel in and been like, well, he can perform miracles. So everyone's coming to see the, the child touched by God. Um, and for some reason, when you show up, Sean shows up. Daniel is still like, no, I'm part of this cult now. Which doesn't make any sense for Daniel's character at all. <laughs> um, and then Mom is there? I feel like maybe I'm getting some things mixed up. But in, like, episode order. No, I think I'm right. Yeah, so Mom is there. Um, and she helps us get Daniel out. Yeah, that's where it all ends. Um, she helps us get Daniel out of the church by setting the church on fire. Thanks, Mom. So that's where we are now. We just got out. Mom helped us escape a cult by setting the church on fire. We didn't kill Elizabeth, woman in charge of the church, because we are good boys. So, let's get, let's hop on in. Yeah, the brother, so, the, one of the kids from the pot camp, um, Jacob, had come from that church, basically. Um, and he had taken Daniel with him, because when he saw Daniel's powers, he was like, he had left the community, because he no longer believed because they were he was he came out as gay and they were forcing him to go to conversion camp. Hooray! Um so 
he didn't know where else to go with Daniel after all of the big explosion and everything, so he took him to where he knew and where his family was. Um, so we were also able to, to get his little sister out because they were, like, saying that his, his little sister had, like, pneumonia, and they were just gonna trying to cure it with, with prayer because, you know, that's what you do. Um, but yeah, let's hop in. Um... I'm trying to find the scene. It's okay. There we go. Okay. So, border wall. Cool. All of this is taking place. It is torture porn. All of this is torture porn. That's why I've been like putting it off. But I think I am. I'm. I'm. Enough has like I've 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 taken enough time off from it that I don't think it's going to be an issue. Um, so let's, let's continue. Also, earlier, I thought I accidentally, uh, deleted my save game. So, I, like, made this huge, like, gasp noise, and, uh, Andrew was like, what happened? I was like, I just thought I deleted my save. I didn't. Okay. So... I love the music in this game. What? I, um, the recap, uh, I accidentally hit, I played the recap earlier, so I'm wondering if now I can't play the recap for some reason? Why can't I just play the recap for you guys? What if I do it with chapter select? Do you guys think that'll do it? Because I just wanted to... Maybe if I do this. Because I'm like, I would like the recap that's not from me. Okay. What if I do it from here? Okay. Yes. I just want to get the... <laughs> Am I not going to get the recap? All because I accidentally hit it earlier while I was... Once upon a time... Okay, there we go. In a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They lived in peace until hunters took their dad away. Sean's a furry, obviously. Both brothers wandered for days. Oh, and Sean's an artist, just so you guys know. They live on their own for the first time. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They decided to head south to the distant land of their ancestors. But the journey was long and dangerous. Still, the Wolf Brothers... Tell me how the, on the volume way, is, by the way. ...learned more about the world. But danger seemed to always follow them I mean, after yeah. that accident. They were separated. The big brother had been hurt, and the hunters okay. finally kept... But when he finally escaped, he went to search for his little brother. He soon found out that the little wolf had joined a coyote cult. A coyote and cult. he would not leave them. Suddenly, and he got a bowl their mother cut. showed up. After all Suddenly, their mother time, showed up. She said she came to help And she basically rescue. said, yeah, I left because I didn't want kids they anymore. They begged the coyote leader 
but she would not release the little wolf. He was their idol. So they had to knock her out to escape. And then they set the church on fire. The wolf brothers, now reunited, followed their rogue mother far into the desert to her. All right, she lives in Arizona or something. Okay, see, that was very important to me. <laughs> that we that we listen to that so that you guys would know. What happened with something that wasn't me saying it because I was very impassioned in my... So pretty. Look at how pretty this game is. Seven weeks after the event at Haven Point. Okay. So it's been nearly fucking two months of just hanging out in the desert? Is that what I'm getting here? Look at how pretty this is. Oh, no thank you. So we've been trying to... With our choices, we've been trying to make... Ever Daniel a good boy. Um, oh, I'm gonna have to look at our choices and see what we did. Just to make sure I know after this cutscene. We're just chilling. Wow, he wakes up quick. Hey. Wake up, Sean. Mm. Dude. Come on. What? <laughs> what time is it? Get up. It's so beautiful. Check it out. Mm. Yeah, that is that is beautiful. But is it strange? <laughs> so? Yeah, okay. Good call. <sighs> wow. <sighs> That's amazing. I know. Is your eye okay? Yeah. It just itches. No, it's not okay. It's gone. It's okay, no, no. I... Promise. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I love you. No matter what happens. You hear me? Yeah. I love you too. Ow! Ow, ow. That's cute. Ow. At least they're cute. But she's still out there. Some. Are you kidding me? Is it back now at least? Did I go offline? Really? Reconnection successful. Fuck you, OBS. I'm so tired of this. I don't understand what the problem is. I really don't understand. <sighs> I'm really tired of this. <laughs> you guys have to understand. It's just so frustrating. It's been two and a half months now. Okay, whatever. Um... Sure. Listen, we're far away from her, okay? We're together again. Safe. Hope so. Sean, are we criminals now? Yeah. I'm, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you guys did a lot. Sort of. We did a lot of... Illegal shit. 
If the cops catch us, we'll be judged for what we did. That's for sure. Yeah. I know. Well, we're almost at the border. Finally. I like it here, but we'll have to leave soon. I know. I'm sorry, Anna. Sean, I know it's been a long time. Can you tell me the rest of the wolf story? The rest of the wolf story. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Why would I ever say he's I too old? You. He been turned ever since ten. We left off. Way too long. While he mm. was in the cult. Let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. So, thanks to their mama wolf, the Wolf Brothers barely escaped from the Coyote cult. She led them to her secret lair, deep in the Red Desert. The Wolf Brothers rested for a while. But at some point, they'd have to continue their journey south. They were closer than ever to their father's land, but between them and their destination lied... A mighty fire unicorn. <laughs> but she's nice, so they become friends. <laughs> uh, um, excuse me, who's telling the story? You are, but it's my story too. Oh, right? I need to turn my computer's not getting too. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay then. So what happens next? Uh, they they arrive in Mexico, but the country is rampaged by goblins. Together, the wolves and the unicorn man rampaged to by goblins and become heroes. Of course. The police forgives them, and all their friends come to Mexico to celebrate. Yep. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Sounds pretty good, and I know. Let's pack this shit up and head back to town. Okay. I'm finally out Gotta of a cutscene. Gotta clean up our stuff before we leave. Okay. This tab. So we have walkie-talkie. Okay. We have our canteen. Forget to bring water in this desert and your dead meat. We still have Dad's lighter. This one ended up being so useful. Thanks again, Dad. We have colored pencils. And we have jacket. Jacket days are hellfire, but nights can be chilly out here in the desert. Very true. Journal! Fuck yeah. Okay. Okay, Daniel has been brainwashed by a cult. Uh and I just fucked up with this reverend. This might tell her. Oh, right. Uh, I just fell right into her trap. I'm so stupid. Also, Karen, what the fuck is she doing here? How did she find us? I don't want anything from her. Nada. We got a lot to catch up on. Karen wants to talk. Oh, wait. The place is too pretty. Um. Really? Fine. I really wanted to be able to look at our stuff ever to see what we'd done. That's fine. Karen wants to talk. It's hard, but I'm trying to hear her out. I'm not sure I'll ever understand what she's been through or what she's after, but I can try. Okay. We got Daniel. Finally, the freak guru can go to hell now. Feels so good to be with my bro again. Leaving Haven Point. Karen is taking us to her place. We need to breathe, sleep, heal. Sarah Lee, this needs to go. Okay. Oof. Karen lives in a desert commune. No shit. Unincorporated community, she says. It's called Away. Only 30 people live here on off. This place is so weird, but the desert is mind-blowing. The perfect hideaway. Away. Daniel's still feeling so confused, guilt-tripping a lot. He can't figure out what happened. The brainwashing, the lies, Elizabeth's grasp over his trauma. Doing my best to help him recover. Sure hope they... Sure hope they find now. Karen is a big help, too. She's good with words. That letter from Jacob and Sarah made him happy. Daniel needs more friends. So, 
Sarah was the little sister with pneumonia, and she became pretty good friends with Daniel. Um, so do I. Sean, we posing. Yeah, that's cute. Total trip to live with Karen. Again, she wants to move on. That's easy for her to say. I'm trying. Daniel's getting better. I can see he loves having mommy back. Daniel's power is no secret here. No one gives a shit. They just go along with it and don't see it as something they can use to their own advantage. Refreshing. Refreshing! Rawr. Who's gonna tell? We're already the batshit crazy sand people. David. David. So this place away is just, is what you make it. Joan haunts it with cool ass sculptures made from scavenged scraps. She's a cool and sunny woman. Karen's closest thing to a best friend, it seems. Cool as heck ornamental tattoos. Take my time today. Arthur and Stanley live in one of the only proper houses in town. They built it together ten years ago from ruins of their past lives. These two can't stop teasing each other, but they're so inspiring. Old couple, young love. Aww. Got a letter from the Humboldt crew to get. Humboldt was the weed camp. So cool, would love to hang with them again, someday. Oof. This place makes me want to draw, could stare at these canyons forever. Daniel needs to vent out. He's been having nightmares about Haven Point and Elizabeth for weeks. Still feels guilty about my eye. Need to find a way to pro Need to find ways to help him process this. Karen told us about a cool camping spot. Reached the top after a long hike across the canyon. Uh, track sessions feel like forever ago. I need to get work on my cardio. Don't follow me. I'll be the best of you ever. Gonna stargaze all night thanks to Arthur's telescope. Daniel seems happy. Okay. So, souvenirs. We're gonna get something here. A keychain. Um... Yeah, six things. So, so far we have, I think I got everything. Some things are just in collector's mode, but that's fine. Oh, oh no, I said fuck it to once we got here, didn't I? And I just kind of went, no, I don't care anymore. Last time I got them all though. So, cool. Um, we're gonna get something here. That's cool. Okay. Where it just was in here. It's so incredible to see all those stars and planets up close. I'm just gonna look at everything it's like first. like we're right there. Um, before I pack things. Every star looked the same until we used Karen's old guidebook. Oh, draw. Fantastic. In the first game, you could take pictures of things. Ooh, sketching time. Um, Good in this game, you can draw. I'm glad you can still draw after. You know. <laughs> Me too, Daniel. But if I can see it in my mind, I can still sketch anything. Hmm. It's fun. Almost. That's so cool. I don't want you to stop drawing. I ever. mean... Wasn't the plan. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is so cool. Yeah, this is exactly how it works. Hey, can you draw me as a superhero? Like, sure striking thing. a pose over the canyon. Hmm. I can try. He wants a pose. Let's do a pose. Very cool. My I love it. That hurts a little. I'm glad we're sleeping in our bed tonight. Get <laughs> get used to it, kid. Finished. It never gets it better. <laughs> Jeez. Do I really look that evil? Aww. He looks more like a super villain. Oh. He's trying to make. 
Now I feel bad. That just takes me in here. Sorry, bud. I'm glad we had these. I'm not a fan of desert critters. Me neither. Okay, I guess let's start packing things. I hope we can go watch the stars again. Mom said there's a moon eclipse coming up soon. <laughs> I'm in. Or eclipse. This place is cool. I could just move here. Hey, I can help. Just tell me what you want to put in there. You are the man. I swear Dad had that same book in the garage. Yeah, I think he did. Why did he never show it to us? Maybe it probably made him think of Karen. It reminded him of Mom too much. Oh. Oh. Uh, she's yeah. down in the commune. Right. They just went for a hike to camp. Um, how do I do that again? E. Let's clean up this mess. Not if it cleans up by itself. Stop. Daniel. Can't catch it, huh? No shit. Now cut it out. Jeez. You're no fun. I don't have depth perception because someone took my eye out. Act that myself, thank you. This power is so cool. I love tie-dyeing stuff now. Yep. Still need our processed sugar in this hippie desert. Yo, Captain Can, can you take these away? Sure. And no funny business. Of course not. Perfect formation. Okay. Flashlight look. Pretty useless with the crazy moonlight we had. Okay. <laughs> but it scares the coyotes away. Activate flashlight. On the way. Why did it take him so long? Sorry, my eye itches like crazy right now. Well, let's hit the trail, cowboy. Let's hit the dusty old trail. No, no, no. Don't do that. What the fuck, dude? Don't do that. What's wrong? Stop messing with it, man. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, little guy. Don't get eaten by eagles. There we go. Do eagles eat scorpions? No idea. <laughs> cool. Let's go. Okay, that just saved right there, didn't it? I wish we saw more falling stars. Or any. <laughs> Oof. Hey, we saw the Milky Way, dude. How cool is that? Yeah, that's true. And Mars. That was so cool Arthur and Stanley let us use the telescope. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. These guys are real Sorry, cool. bud. Hey, see this? Looks like the ones you did back in that cabin. When you got sick. Oh, totally. Wait, uh, ow. does that mean other people were here? Of course. Maybe someone from away did it. Oh, I better Sorry, I'm trying to find. Oh my god, my Think eye. Think Joanne will let me help her with her sculpture when we get back? Hell yeah. You're like the magic assistant. Can I? It's nice to be able to use my power out here. Make sure. Not hide it. What does yeah. it look like? Looking at the sun, and then there's like. Karen it's like this right. right here. They're all cool with it. Right? Mom doesn't say much about my power. Why do you think? Confused. She's. Um, confused. Like, what do you mean? She's my mom. Well, you know. I'm just looking for it. Sorry, bud. I mean, she hasn't seen you for years. Not sure she can 
deal with all this at the same time. Huh. It must be weird for her. Yeah. I hear you. For her, definitely. Basically, she was like the least. It it her little like why I My did it thing. My legs are gonna be like yours after all this hiking now. Oof. Peter's having a little trouble, I think. Damn. I got the munchies. Hope Karen has some food. Amazing that anything can grow out here. Does it ever rain in the desert? Well, oh, uh, good question. Yes, it does. I'm just trying to find the souvenir, okay, y'all? Hmm. Is that it? Now, what the hell is that? Are they... Hey, kid, Daniel? get me that thing. I see something behind this rock. Can you bring it over? Bring me the shiny. Bring oh, me the shiny. It. I see. Here it comes. Ooh, look at that. So cool. Yep. We're taking this treasure. Whatever that is. Ooh. Nice. Ah, uh, nah. The skull is definitely cooler. Okay. Now I don't care so much. It really is having some After trouble right now. After all that right scary now. crap Daniel had to go through. Nature still freaks him out. I should probably mess with the settings, I think. Everything's at very high. Let's just go with, like, high instead. Because... There we go. Does not look hey, quite as pretty, I will admit. You know who I see having a trailer out here? <laughs> who? <laughs> Brody. He'd love it. Brody's the but guy who rescued them from racists in the first. radio station and everything. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> in the first game. It would be so cool to have him around. <laughs> I miss him sometimes. <sighs> you know, I could have done it by myself, right? Hey, let me be the cool, helpful big brother once in a while. Oh, look. Looks look. like a job for our local oh, super I just saw psychic cool boy. Lizard. Yeah, and you scared it. I know. Dangerous. So, maybe you can help us get out of here? Mm, I'll try. Step back. Be step back. Super careful. Whoa, that was not super careful, dude. There you go. I hope it's okay. <laughs> nice man. Is it though? Is it nice? A little scary there. Oh, we're just going to be back in the place now? Cool. Nifty. It's, uh, 81 degrees in the office right now, apparently. I'm chilly. But, uh, the computer is not. Mm, I want boot weather. <laughs> I'm just suddenly thinking about my boots. And how I would love to wear them right now. You know what I mean? Wouldn't you like to be wearing boots? I've been watching Daria recently, um, and they're everyone's wearing boots, and I'm like, God. 
want to wear boots <laughs> so bad. Yes, bring October already. October is my birthday month. So all of October is the best month. Hey, I'm gonna go see what Joanne is doing. <laughs> go for it. I go have to for bring it, back bud. the telescope to Stanley and Arthur. Okie dokie. Went to town for weekly supplies. Some pancakes left in the kitchen? <laughs> back Old soon. pancakes aren't like great. Okay, well, I am very obviously going to do this methodically because you guys know. Daniel, me. you copy? Yes, I read you. Ten four. I have a pancake alert in the kitchen. Repeat, pancake alert. Oh man, sorry. I was gonna eat with Joanne. Over and out. Ten four. No flying pancakes today. Let's start inside. Also, next thing is seeing Daniel up on a like platform. Okay. Karen did help us a lot since she found me and Daniel. Hmm. Hmm. That's true. Better late than never. Chocolate chip pancakes. Okay, we're gonna go inside first. That's the best way to do this. Nothing? Okay. Just look. We're not gonna say anything about it. She's really good at rewriting her own life. I'm a solo Mobius strip. Just when I reach the end, I go back to the beginning. Find myself to new faces, privileged to escape, and rewrite another draft. Goddess laughs at plans, then shows me the page left unmarked for years. Out in the ghost desert, seeds return as saplings to reveal their age and power. Now I go back forward, layered with fear and hope, to water the children of the sun. This one's pretty intense. I think don't, I get it. Don't believe I would find a soul within or without a church, a miracle with sleep and food and fuck, a day without shit. Until it was not. Now we run to the celestial spires, oh visions of the fake prophet, engulfed in ego and belief. As the burning cross falls on your cruel angels, I am the bonfire of vanities, so when the dam breaks, we all flood, like glass on a mirage, if I believe. Sure. Whoa. I hope Karen sends this to Claire and Steven. Okay. Hi, Mom and Dad. I've been thinking about this letter for a while, and I know it's been a long, long time coming. So I'm sitting here tonight thinking about the words I should have written ten years ago. Always used to say, everything happens for a reason. We fought about it then. Cross out. I understand why now. There's a reason I feel like I have to reach out to both of you from the desert. Tonight from the desert. I know you've only heard from me once by phone and six times by letter for almost a decade. I'm sorry. Cross out. I didn't mean to hurt you, and I was certainly not trying to punish you, like you told me. Don't laugh, but I just don't know what to say or write. Poets block, just like how you had to block me from your life after I left Esteban. I understand that was how you had to deal with a problem, child, cross out. An only child who didn't live up to your expectations. There's no denying that I failed you, but the burden, cross out, weight of your aspirations as parents failed me too. You had such a rigid opinion of what I was supposed to be that I just didn't have the chance, cross out, opportunity to explore who I actually was. I wanted a daughter to grow up happy, find a good job and great husband, settle down, to breed, cross out, have kids and raise them in faith to continue the cycle of suburbia. That daughter wasn't me, cross out. I know that you were raised in a different time and culture, so I didn't understand your point of view. Like you didn't understand your wayward daughter, maybe a bridge too far for us at the time. After Danny was born, you knew I wanted to take a break, just cross out, some time to figure things out in my head and heart. It didn't make sense to your, cross out, you or dad, and I get that, but you didn't see how, cross out. I was so desperate, and only Esteban was willing to give me that time, because he saw how unhappy I was. 
I don't blame you for my decision to leave, and maybe a timeout would have led to the same outcome. We will never know, and I try not to live in regret. My life has been a roller coaster, and there have been times I long to hear your voices and thoughts, even the negative ones cross out. And I know when I last talked to you in New York to ask for help in paying back my debts, you wanted to help. But it was on your condition to return right back to where I couldn't return. I hate that that was our last conversation. Sorry I reached out to you this day. I'm sorry I broke your hearts. I'm sorry I left. I let you... I'm sorry I let you broke mine for silencing me so long ago. I think we've paid our dues. And now I sit under a blue field of crystal stars like the poet I hope I am, writing and waiting for a chance to rebuild an old bridge with my mother and father. I hope we can cross it one more time. Oh, hydrate! Love, cross out, your daughter. Either Karen was desperate for a job, or she loved working with kids. Doubtful. That's doubtful, seeing as... Karen has been camping in her own house since we arrived. Oh well. Kinda... Uh, Karen doesn't even supplies. like to leave this place just to go shopping. Karen must have been so excited to finally hit New York. Fly by night, not by fright, into the big city bright, stop that cliche never dying in the steel of the buildings, the warp of the street. But no matter what or where I spin, the pull of a million dead poets takes me to dance once again. Go, it's time I get to leave, till the next flight. Karen looks so young and fragile on this picture. Hmm. Hard times. Maggie and Karen, summer of a love to me full. Why is it? It's acting really sluggish. Looks like they all finally found their home. Aww. Daniel's Big Ten late birthday party made him feel so happy. Hot sauce on your pancakes. We'll come I back to the pancakes because I feel like it's going to be a whole pancakes thing. And hot sauce. Ugh, gross. I was just joking. Jacob. I'm so glad Jacob and his sister are doing okay. Oh, cannot read that. They deserve some peace. Hola, Sean. Sorry, I did, I did not write to you sooner, but this was the first time I've had a chance to relax if we got out of Haven Point. Thanks to you and your brother. I still can't believe it really happened. So bizarre. Sarah Lee and I do miss our parents, but we're not ready to let them know where we are yet. We will figure it out later. Thanks to my old savings account, I finally got Sarah Lee antibiotics, so she's been feeling better pretty fast. Kids are like superhumans. The most important thing to me is my sister, just like your brother. You are lucky to have each other, and when you both came our way, we were blessed. Kind of tracked down our Humboldt crew, so I'll keep you posted. I hope everybody is okay after that night on the farm. We all deserve a break and a better future. Please let me know when you make it to the other side. You and Daniel got this. Give our little hero a big hug. Take care, Jake. So cute. <laughs> Looks like Lila has some competition now. Lila was um, uh, Sean's friend in uh, Seattle. Hope you are good and happy. I feel so much better now. It took forever before we found a place to live, but we finally did. I love this cold weather way more than the heat. Please come see us soon. Thanks for being one of my best friends, Sarah Lee. Tidy up. She was that close. Sucks she had to pay all that money back. Oh, this is in 2010. Pursuant to our conversation on June 10th, and your inability to submit your poetry manuscript the other way to Ravensbury Press by the con contracted deadline of June 1st, 
despite our repeated efforts to accommodate you, we regret to inform you that this breach of contract means we shall no longer be publishing the collection as part of our new poet series. Stated in section six of our contract, see attached copy. If the author fails to deliver the manuscript by the agreed date, the publisher has the right to recover the full amount of the $10,000 advance. We have included with this letter a repayment form and schedule. Oof. As stated in section 23 of our contract, see attached copy, the rights for your manuscript shall revert back to the author upon full repayment of the advance. If you have any further questions, please refer to them refer them to our legal team. We wish you the best of luck with your future endeavors. Sincerely, all the people there. Huh. Is that the same person who wrote her back in Beaver Creek? Hi, Ruby. Yes, I know New York is hot in August is hot as balls. You did say you like the heat, but my apartment under the roof can be really suffocating. Don't want to rub it in, but Aspen is my new summer home. Daily temp around 70 degrees. Aspen. And hot tub at night. Anthony's cabin is more like a ski lodge. Next trip, maybe you can tag along. Poets retreat. Best cure for your writer's block. And please let me know when you can pay me back for August's rent. I definitely need it for next month. And up and up here in Aspen. See you on September 5th instead of the 4th, so put on, you put your clothes on. Stay out of trouble and remember to water my babies this time. Love ya. Okay. So good to have a home. Again. <laughs> and a real bed. Glad they're back on track. Hmm. I'll always have a crew out there. Yo, Diaz, our boy Jacob hooked us up with your P.O. box. You can't hide your ass from us, bitch. We know you're in the desert like a lizard. Miss ya, Penny. Hope you and Daniel are free now. Colorado is more weed and rednecks, but less violent. We can... <laughs> we can chill until we decide where the fuck to go next. Anna. Hard to believe Finn isn't here to start shit anymore, and we don't miss him for that, but he'll get a few more songs out of me. We want to remember him for his angels, not his demons. Um, Finn didn't die in our version, but we did throw him under the bus and have him arrested. We did do that, if I remember correctly. Mexico isn't that far, so get ready for some immigrants coming your way. Take care of your brother. And let him take care of you. Peace out, Cassidy. Cassidy is the one that we almost fucked. But then I was like, hey, wait, no, where's my brother? I had no clue there was a network of seed pirates. <laughs> Karen's a real life hacker. Karen takes on some <laughs> small piece works for a living. Hi, Karen. Thanks. Must pay better than poetry. Thanks for your last advice column. We got quite a response and a lot of hits. I know you don't want a social media footprint, but you could generate a lot of clicks with your insights. Looking forward to your next piece. Please make sure to send your invoice for May and June. Best, Ariane Klein. These taps. Brody's so good at describing painful situations and seeing the good into it. Yeah, I'm not going to read this because this is about last time I saw my mother before this no. So I cried, she cried, my brother cried, we all cried. I'm not going to do that. Brody's the one that saved them from the racists in um, Washington in the first episode. I'm not going to read that. Yeah, I ghosted her. But so glad to see Lila's back. Of course you ghosted her. You had to for her safety. Lila uploaded a new profile picture. Read the family. Oh, nobody is mad. I've been out of touch. Brain needed a timeout. Yes, it can happen to me, too. People are such pussies about mental health. Just talk and take care of each other, for fuck's sake. Wait, is that the last Brody's tab? So good at yes, it was. Yeah, I ghosted her. Okay, use USB key. I, whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. Hey, Dad. Lila always knew how to crack me up. Aww. Cute. What is it? What's the difference? Whoa. I should have gone through that flash drive weeks ago. 
Whoa. It's just the same thing. Okay. I should have gone through that flat. Man. I'm still not used to this heat out here. Well, it's uh it's pretty bad. Eye medicine. Snake clamp. Ugh. I wish Karen didn't tell me she got a rattlesnake out of the toilet last week. No, thank you. <sighs> Gotta keep my eye lube handy. <sighs> Glad I don't need it as much. Eye lube. She changed my diapers, but... Oh, get... It feels kind of awkward well, to be here. the door opens a little bit, which means the cat was in here at some point. Now she's not, so I don't know. Okay, let's get back out here and eat those pancakes. And letting us invade her space. One thing eat Claire and Karen pancakes. have in common, their love for pancakes. He's just picking it up. He was a fork. Child. Okay. That was inside. Can I get on top of this? There's a lawn chair up there. Please let me get on top of this. <laughs> Arthur and Stanley probably want their telescope back. Yeah, I know. I'll do it. I don't know where they are. Oh, I'm going through Karen, this town. You are so busted. <clears throat> yes, let us discuss with our brother. Hey, do you miss Beaver Creek? I miss having a house. Aww. But... The town was kind of dead. <laughs> I really miss Chris. And Grandma and Grandpa. I'm just glad we're still a family out there. Yeah. Stumbling from failure to failure. <laughs> Looking at this place, I see that Karen really wanted to get away from it all. Nice. <laughs> Literally. Water filter. Karen taught me some cool off the grid shit. Cool. Climb up. I bet I can draw from up here. I hope I can draw from up here. It would be really silly if I couldn't. Sit and draw. Fuck yeah. We gotta do this shit. Ooh, it's so pretty. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. Hmm. Pretty good. Uh, of course but we're adding more, more details. details Why would I not add more details? Okay. Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. That's so cute. <laughs> We're just gonna sit. Now I can see why Karen ponder. likes it out here. <laughs> it just took a while. Sometimes she he really says, doesn't yeah, there want we go. to be a part of society, <laughs> except just this tiny one. It's a community. She did screw us over, though. But yeah, she was so just kind of like, eh, I don't want to be a mother anymore. I'm just going to leave. Her. And it's like, I still don't know how I feel. Then her explanation for it was literally just, yeah, no, I just didn't want to be a mother anymore. <laughs> and it was like, oh, okay, cool. Any more? Okay. Yeah. 
Nice mess. <laughs> Daniel will never change. Won't he, though? Still can't believe she's kept it. See, she's not such a terrible mother. It's nice to play games with Daniel again. Sorry, I have <laughs> very little yeah, patience for her. Too. Karen practices what she preaches. She barters with her food, not money. Excuse me, water boy. Did you remember to feed the crops? I never forget. Ask mom. But no way I could grow stuff like she can. Mm, maybe in Mexico. <laughs> oh yeah. We can grow a lot of stuff there. Yeah. We could also try to be self-sufficient when we're in Mexico. I get a sticker? I got a new... Oh! Well, I'm just doing this out of order then, am I not? Once I find Daniel, I'll be able to get something there. But I'm not over there yet. David's trailer. I am intrigued by this man named David. Because there was a David in the first Life is Strange. No David is a very common before. name though, so... Water management is kind of a big thing around here. I mean, yes, you're in a desert. Dude, we could put red food coloring in the water and turn this into a blood tank. Yeah, but then everybody would freak out. Plus, you can't do food coloring out here. Solar panels. Pretty smart. You're never gonna run out of sun in the desert. I mean... Okay. Let's, let's, let's meet this guy. Antenna, huh? I hope the UFOs are listening. Sounds sorry. Anything else out here? Um, so this game takes um, into account what you did in the first game, by the way. So in the first game, I... I should bring the telescope back to Arden's stand before I forget. Uh, I David killed Chloe. David always wants to help. <laughs> but he's tough to figure out. So Chloe is dead in this universe. I can't come in? But I want to know. I want to know. <sighs> this is such a weird fucking place. We watched a French cooking show with them the other day. Stanley is such a tech nerd. Wish I could be as cool and as wise as these guys when I get older. Morning, Sean. Morning, guys. I just want to see the birdhouse. Let me look at the birdhouse. Thank you. Look at that. I thought there was only vultures in the desert. There are plenty of birds. What does it do to take the first game into account? It basically, at the beginning of the game, was like, so, did you sacrifice the town or sacrifice Chloe? And I had to be like, I sacrificed Chloe. Um, but that's a really way, I weird way of putting it, scenery. but. Here hey, is your telescope. What's up? Morning, Sean. Join us. Have a seat. Hey, just in time for our special desert brew. And dust free. Thanks. So much. Sean, it's too early to be so awake. Ah, well, I've no been up for kidding. a while. Hey, how was your sleep over in the canyon? <sighs> Amazing. We watched the sunrise. Daniel loved it too. That's my favorite view out here. It's like ancient times, but it never gets old. Unlike us, darling. 
That canyon will be here long after we're gone. Okay. Hope you looked up. We did. Thanks for hooking us up. <laughs> Anytime. Even my daughter Becky loves to stargaze when she visits us. That's the only way to get Arthur to camp now. Becky is the real astronomer in the family. Wonder yeah. where she got this. From her mom, probably. Ugh. Hope you guys get to meet Becky. Uh, we'll be leaving soon. That sounds cool, but we gotta be leaving soon. Socks and sandals. Technically, you're already in a way. I get it. You still have to find your home. We were lucky. And old enough to find ours Who here. are these people? They're just people in the commune. So, why did you come out here? Because we got tired of people's bullshit. Things change. But being gay is still dangerous. The end. Sean, I'm almost 60, and I was a happily married man for 20 years until I came out. I don't blame my family for being in shock, but I didn't think they'd disown me. My other daughters won't even talk to me anymore. Amazing. Let's just sprinkle so in I some... Stay. Some uh, homophobia. After we got together, we both had serious breakdowns. Then we got the hell out of the Bay Area. For the better. I hear that. I'm just so fucking tired of running. I hope me and Daniel find our own away. You will. People come here to reset their life. Become the person they want to be. Or used to be. You're smart. You'll figure out your next direction. Okay. Right, Gramps? Speak for yourself, Grandpa. My body might be 59, but I'm 25. <laughs> uh -huh. Why, though? I'll remember that on the next hike. No, oh, but he said his body was 59. To. Thanks for the desert, Brew. Hey. These two remind me of Claire and Steven. In a weird, hippie version. Oh, not again. <laughs> it's kind of cute, though. Huh. <laughs> you think they picked this up at the gas station? He doesn't know I where you not. are. It's too cute. <laughs> uh, it looks like Brody, the bear. I sure wish we the had The gas station is where they got um, captured by some racists. Guy. Hang out over here. Hey, Sean. What were you doing at Arthur and Stanley's place? You're a little too young to be stalking me, dude. Um, uh, you know what? I saw them kissing the other day. Kinda weird. I... Kinda you know normal. it's actually normal for people in love to kiss, right? I know. I just mean, they're really <laughs> cute together. I hope somebody cares about me like that when I get old. I want to look at the flags first. Hold up. I'll be over in a minute. I didn't know you ever left. Gosh, you live in your own world, honey. Let me look at the fucking flags. That's now that's some real patriots. Uh, <laughs> don't like that. Joanne's been cutting metal pipes this morning. That's the platform. I didn't come out that I saw in the thingy. So I'm assuming this is where... Yeah. Let's look at her RV first. Glad to see that artists are allowed to make a mess. I'm just- I gotta look at everything. You guys understand that this is what I do. You understand, and I assume you love me Karen and Joanne spend evenings playing and chatting. <laughs> Kinda like me and Lila. Back in the day. I love it. Love watching movies under the stars. It is pretty nice. Like a drive-in. Oh, hydrate. With no cars. He's right over there, Dude, but... Dude, remember when you totally fell asleep during that Bollywood flick? Because it was so Lick. lame after those cool cartoons. <laughs> Whatever. You miss Priya and Stanley teaching me how to dance. No, I didn't. You can't dance, dude. <laughs> um, let's go look at the artwork, the sculpture, and the artwork. Love the energy out here. 
with everyone building stuff as they please. We helped Joanne set up this giant vacuum with binoculars, as David calls it. Yeah. Speaker. Joanne can throw a total rager out here. Nice. But without asshole neighbors. It's asshole neighbors that started all of this. This place is the ultimate playground for Tanya. It is my completionist nature. It's why I've been 100%ing all of the Nancy <laughs> Drew games. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I love how they recycle everything into art, construction, or agriculture here. Mm. Find me in a place like this when I'm older. There's power cuts all the time here. But no one's really bothered by it. Yes, we loved 100%. Thank you. I'm glad you guys at least appreciate me. Joanne says she needs all this junk to grow inspiration from. Okay. What's up, Joanne? See for yourself. Man, check this out. Okay, Daniel. Let's so take she a have alopecia? Break. Got it. That child is something special. Yeah. I hear this I mean, this we like lot. him. Don't worry. Mm, yeah, I bet. <laughs> but you have your own talent, Sean. I'm dead serious. Eh, lot to learn. <laughs> talent? Thanks. But I still have a lot to learn. Of course you do. Only dumbasses think they know everything. It's okay to not know stuff. Don't worry so much about the outcome. An artist has to take a leap of faith about every other week. I mean, it's cool that they have someone with alopecia. So why are you all the way out here now? <laughs> Easy. I started selling my work for good money. And as soon as I did, everyone turned into smiling sharks. Listen... If you want to be an artist, you will be. It's not always easy, but in the end, it's pretty fucking cool. Speaking of, do you mind giving me a hand here? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can. Yes, you can. I just need your input, okay? Okay. Okay. Sure. You know. Why not? Ah, there you go. No. Go stand over there. Daniel, you ready to start again? Oh, yes. Hold on. Okay, that's what we're supposed to be making. I think. So, for my next nope. turn, I'd love to see if you can connect these three pieces. I've made a model of what I have in mind here. Okay, so square. Go ahead and be the sphere. artist. Cube sphere. And we don't need a crane to lift this stuff. <laughs> Daniel can snap these together like block toys. Snap them together. Hell yeah. Doesn't Let's do this. Okay. But we want the belly. Maybe that's supposed to represent the earth. Or a ball. Right? I think I think that's next. <laughs> okay, Daniel. Can you slam dunk the earth ball onto the base? What? Be careful, Daniel. Slam I don't want dunk. You to get hurt. Oh, you should totally do like the model, but with the spider on top. Nah, we're gonna do the arms. Now, let's throw on that spider. You got it. I'm doing it like the model. Not like what you're trying to convince me to do. I am an artiste. Hmm. Now, let's move Mr. Pancake's head onto the pedestal. 
Watch this. Come on and slam. <laughs> Welcome to the jam. I feel like we're almost done. Well, I think this is it. Looks good to me. Only if the muse approves. Not what I had in mind, but it's still cool. You did a great job, Inanna. Well, Sean, Daniel, I think art might be in your family DNA. There's no escape. I think we're done for the day. Thank you so much for your help. Thank okay. you so much for your help. That was fun. Okay, but... Joanne is so chill about her art. That's what makes her talented. I bet you would like Minecraft. It, it, it's kind of like this. Yeah, I've read about it. It's a video game, right? Yes. And you can build to figure out how to get want. Daniel up there. Ooh, you have to show me then. Precarious patriot shrouded in dust. I guess I'll talk to her first. You okay, Joanne? Yeah, as fine as frogs here, sweetie. I'm just very I stoned. I like to take a good look at a piece after I'm done working on it. Uh, it helps me connect with it. She sounds... Cool. Well, thanks for letting me be a part of it. Oh, thank you, Sean. See you around, hon. That's cool, Joanne trusted me to help build her sculpture. Daniel, go up on the thing. Go up there. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Too bad there's nobody my age here. I wish Daniel wasn't the only kid in town. It's the thing. Okay. Fuck OBS. I'm so mad. This is gonna be so irritating. You guys have no idea how irritating this is going to be to render tomorrow. Try and put the VOD up. You can see it. But the closer you get, it changes. I thought the people here would be like freaks. But they're just sick of the bullshit. Now I sound like a local. I guess I'm always gonna be a visitor. The music is so pretty. I wish there was a way for me to know. <laughs> super Wolf to yes. Big Brother. Copy. I hid something super cool for you to find. Will you accept this quest to find my secret treasure? Yes. Ten four. Because it. Okay. I have to. You're on it, Nano. Yes. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Listen carefully. I'm listening. You must find the two items that will reveal where the treasure is. Okay. Deal. So, for the first item, is near the place with many wings that cannot fly. Many wings. That's it. That's it. That's your clue. You can do it, big brother. <laughs> I hope. And don't bother checking mom's trailer. It's outside. That doesn't have many wings that cannot fly. Way cold. Getting closer. Warm. Getting warm. Getting so clue. Warm. Hello. Pick up. This is cute. 
This is the shit I'm here for. Ahoy, matey. I found a map of a way. Yeah. Don't lose it because you'll need it to match up with the other part. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Now, arr, for the second item, you'll need to find something that eats the sun. Uh-huh. Ah. Uh, sure. The solar not panels. too far. <laughs> You're in the middle zone. Not too far. Far. Where were the getting closer? Oh man, you're right there. Just look around. It's close, Sean. There we go. It eats the sun. Good job. Okay. So that's that big sculpture. And Jones RV, right? No, that's David and... No? That's Mom's, that's David and Stanley's, okay. So we want to go to the pile of cars. Found it. Nice. And it's a... Tracing paper sheet with a red cross. Yeah! Now just match up the other papers. We already did. The treasure is yours, Captain Diaz. Ahoy, matey! I think I have the whole treasure map. Amazing. Uh, Captain, I'm just jogging in the desert. Just gotta dig your way to the treasure. Hope you know where to go. <laughs> That's a cool ass map you drew, dude. Thanks. Chris told me everything about treasure hunting. It's so cool that people want to give a second life to their stuff. Guess people came here with these and never left. Just grab it! You're here! Just grab it! You're here! I would love to. There we go. Finally. Ooh. Took Looks way like too much effort. Buried here. Can I wear it? Please. Oh, it's an earring. Yes. I think I have found the hidden treasure. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. I knew you could do it. I found this under an old trailer. It looks like gold, right? Um, I'm not a prospector, but... It looks like the real deal. Store! You know what <laughs> time cute. it is. Victory! Dance time! Oh, of course. Come on! Dance! Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you asked for it. Why? Why did this happen? They're like, you know what this game needs? Cool. Okay, next thing is like basically the two whales diner is what it looks like. I know that's not what they're gonna be. That does not promising. I'm not a fan of what this implies. Oh, I think you're spotting mom's truck coming back. Cool. Mm, yes, 100% her. Gotcha. We'll help her out with the groceries. I bet Hippie started this place. Welcome to I'm Away. To see Leave the past now. today. You can forever stay. Founding Sisters. Established 1975. Am I going the wrong way, by the way? This part of town is dead this time of year. I was going the wrong way. I should way. stay around here. That's her. Oh, 
I was like, I see an RV. That's gotta be the RV. I keep hitting like invisible walls. Very upsetting. Gotta empty that truck. Yeah, I'm right here. I'm right here, woman. Hey. Glad to see you survived the night in the desert. Hey, what's up? Hey, good morning. <laughs> Howdy, Sean. How was the town trip? <laughs> Hate these trips. Uh, people look at us as if we're aliens. Here come the sand people. <laughs> the deserters have returned with offerings from Das Kapital. Jolie! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed you. Next time, you're coming with us. <laughs> we'll is see. Is that... <laughs> well, we Looking stepped up. good. What's your secret? Defying death on a daily basis. And hydrating. Oh, right. Can't forget your goodies. Hey, thanks, Angel. Here. Ah, uh, you're the man, Karen. Catch you later. Take care. Hey, so how did you guys like your night in the canyon? Amazing. It was amazing. So many stars. So quiet. Good call, Karen. I knew you'd like it. Stargazer. Glad you got to see that. Hi, Mom. How was the town? Town life always sucks. <laughs> but we got something for you. Think fast. Whoa, yes. Thanks, David. <laughs> you want to play catch, Danny boy? Totally. Me and Dad always used to play. But I'm way better now. Well, that's not fair. No matter what he's been through, he just wants to be a kid <laughs> and play. <laughs> Yep. Daniel hasn't been like this in forever. You've all been a good influence on him. About time you boys went camping. Hope Daniel didn't camping. get scared by all the critters. Yeah, not anymore. He's seen a lot worse. We've, we've been camping before. And we, uh... And he can defend himself. You're right. And he does like to show off. Maybe too much. <laughs> you boys have been here over a month. And I still can't get over Daniel's... Did David ever know Skills. about... Me neither, but I never figured uh, it Max's out, power? so I don't try anymore. Well, take it from an old soldier. But you trained him well. He's a good kid. This is the, it's a different um, voice actor, so I'm like... I guess it's reassuring, but what do I know? Never met someone with a superpower You sure before. did! I try to be a good influence. But I guess Not always easy, in my version of the game... He listens to me. I don't know if I did right. Chloe just really died. Did. Listen, raising so he a kid know. is the toughest job in the world. Trust Wherever, me. if combat was easier. Oh, you didn't tell me you were married. Nah, used to be. We're divorced now. Her daughter's death left her heart broken. Same for me. We just couldn't put our pieces back together. After what happened. I'm sorry, David. Yeah, the worst thing is, I never had the chance to do the right thing for my stepdaughter. I mean, in other universes, you did. Before she died. You did. We were like oil and water, and she was always starting shit. Guess that's hard for a kid to get a new father. Especially one like me. I just had no clue how to I deal with I like the first her. game way more. I wish mean... I did. Anyway. You can't go back. Nope. Thanks for talking, David. Better start my delivery now. Found some weird snacks in town. Arthur's gonna freak. <laughs> what a weird place for him to end Catch up in. Catch you later, Sean. It's <sighs> been... His life okay. is strange. Time takes out. Place, it's <sighs> been four years since melt. Chloe died. That was awesome, Mom. Now Since I know where they It takes place in 2013. You throw way better than Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're not done out here yet. Let's get this food inside before it melts. No problem. She is so cool. See? This Don't is think? a sequel now because there's a recurring <laughs> Joanne character. Joanne is so the cool. The title is justified. Stanley is so cool. The heat is so cool. <laughs> You're way too easy, bro. Whatever. Can't help it if I like Taryn. 
Just be you and I know. I'm just saying. Don't get too cozy here. This is a rest stop. I know. It would be very easy to be able to. That's smart that everybody takes turns shopping. Yeah. Stanley wanted pound of coffee beans, no decaf, trail mix, mousetrap, watermelon. Priya wants condoms, USB cord. Arthur, choco crisps. All right. Chocolate crisps, baking soda, foot powder. Joe wanted shea butter, turmeric, ibuprofen. Um, a watermelon. Oh, I said that, didn't I? Jem wanted dry cat food, sunscreen, vadim, measuring tape, AC filters, roasted nuts. I feel like we're about to go have our mom kick us out. Am I wrong? I have to admit, I do miss that Pacific Northwest weather, sometimes. Yeah, I bet. You've been here over a month now. What do you think? Almost two months. Oasis? It's been seven weeks. Everybody's very cool and way different. Can't even believe nobody's freaking out about Daniel's power. Well, Sean, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around it. But yeah, I know. But people here are not going to get in your space. They have their own past, too. That's why people come here from all over the country. All over For the their country. own reasons. Not perfect, but it works. So peaceful here. It is so peaceful out here. <laughs> Guess that's what everybody's really looking for. Peace. You're probably right. Yes, I still feel like we're really privileged out here. I mean, here. you are. There's bad shit going on in this desert. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you can ever really get away from everything. You can't escape reality. Even here. I know, we Mom. We just live slightly apart from it. So... How did you end up here? <laughs> this place is not on the map. Like most of us, I was first brought here by someone. Maggie. After I failed to make it in New York, I was lucky enough to meet her down in Florida. She's had a tough life. This place was her getaway. She's long gone now, but her name is still written all over this place. Well, thanks for bringing us here. Oh, Sean. Sorry. I'm glad I was able to help you. <laughs> By the way, can you grab your brother so we can all uh, talk? Is everything no. okay? No, not everything's okay. Yeah, I just thought we could spend this day together. Just the three of us. Uh, I I uh, kind of did arson, so if the police- Hey brother to Superwolf, like, we need you at Karen's trailer. Copy? Like, she burnt down that church. <laughs> <laughs> I just want everyone to remember that she burnt down a church, so she's not exactly like. Hola. Hola, compadre. Oh my god. How about a trek around the canyon today? You in? Totally. Let's pack then. Loading screen. Peter's so angry. Okay. It just saved though, and because this the stream has been super weird today, I kinda wanna stop here. Um just because I don't need another part of a VOD to stitch together, so let's stop here, come back tomorrow and finish the episode. Um I feel like we're probably pretty close. Um so, I, when I say pretty close, I mean we're probably halfway through the episode about now. Um, 
So yeah, let's let's do that. Um, see you guys tomorrow, same time, same place. Um, who amongst us in this family hasn't done a little crime once in a while? Our dear old da dead dad, that's who. Okay, so I'll see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully we can get this, uh, we, I can get OBS to stop being like this. But yeah, thank you guys so much, and, uh, peace out, y'all.